Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix crashing and freezing issue with the Rift Breaker game on your computer. Now the first step is to restart your computer. So go to the start menu, click on the power icon and then click on restart and after the system restart, try to launch the game. That should go ahead and help you to fix the problem. But still you're facing the problem. In that case, you can go ahead and switch to DirectX. For this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game and then select manage and then click on browse local files. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder then open the bin folder and then open this launcher just make a double click and once the launcher is open over here you can see render system go ahead and switch to DirectX over here and then click on save and then you can go ahead and click on play and that should go ahead and help you to launch the game successfully now the next step is to disconnect all the external USB devices so if you have any external devices connected to the computer go ahead and disconnect all the usb devices including controllers flight stick pedals so go ahead and disconnect all the external devices and then try to launch the game the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus go ahead and allow the game exe file and the launcher to the antivirus program now in case if you're using windows security go to the start menu then click on settings then go to update and security in case if you're using windows 10 in case if you're using windows 11 then you have to go ahead and click on privacy and security so in windows 10 update and security then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down over here you can see manage ransomware protection click on it then click on allow an app through control folder access then click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder so in your case it may be in c drive so open program files x86 then open the steam folder then open the steam apps folder then open the common folder over here you will find your game exe file uh, your game folder in my case it's in d drive steam folder steam apps common open the rift breaker game folder open the bin folder and then select the launcher first and then click on open then again click on add an allowed app browse all apps and this time select this rift breaker exe file open and once the game is added over here try to launch the game now the next step is to turn off steam overlay for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then under the general tab uncheck the box which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then try to launch the game now also close all the overlay application so if you have any other overlay application running on the computer, go ahead and close it. So suppose in case if you have Discord running, go ahead and close Discord. So make sure that the Discord is not running. So go ahead and close Discord. Now in case if you have GeForce Experience running, go ahead and close GeForce Experience. So close all the overlay application. Now in case if you have multi monitor setup, go ahead and disconnect all the monitor. Try to launch the game on one monitor. And in the launcher also you can go ahead and select your display over here so select the primary display and then try to launch the game the next step is to is for laptop users with dual graphic card so try to run the game on the dedicated graphic card in the launcher also here you can see you can go ahead and select your graphic card over here so here also you can go ahead and select your dedicated graphic card in case still not working in that case you can go ahead and type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings now click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder and then open the bin folder select the launcher add and once this is added in my case it's already added so once it is added click on it then click on options select high performance then click on save and then click on browse once again and this time select the game exe file and then click on add and once this is added click on options select high performance then click on save and then try to launch the game now the next step is to disable intel graphic card so if you can be a game with dual graphic card so one is intel another is amd or nvidia go ahead and disable your intel graphic card right, make a right click then click on disable and then try to launch the game now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd go to amd website so i'm showing for nvidia so go to NVIDIA website, select your graphic card from the list, make sure that you select the right operating system and then click on search. 
and then click on download again click on download now once the download is complete run this exe file then you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next and after the clean installation restart your computer and then try to launch the game now the next step is to run the game as an administrator for this go to steam make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files and then open the bin folder now open you have to go ahead and make a right click on launcher.exe select properties go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply okay and then again make a right click on the game exe file select properties compatibility and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply okay and then try to launch the game from here so instead of launching the game from here don't click on play over here just go to the game installation folder and if you want to launch the launcher you just make a double click and if you want to straight away launch the game just make a double click over here and it will go ahead and launch the game now the next step is to try window mode so if you are able to run the game you can go ahead and turn off all the ray tracing features first of all go ahead, go ahead and open the launcher and then try the window mode so here you can see borderless window is selected right now so you can go ahead and select window mode you can also try to lower down the resolution if you want and check the performance so lower down the resolution select window mode and then you can also switch to directx 11 and then click on play now once you are able to launch the game you can go ahead and turn off all the ray tracing features now in the game you can go to options click on options then go to settings and then go to graphics and from here also you can go ahead and select window mode and then you can go ahead and turn off the v-sync so uh, you can try both you can go ahead and try to turn on and then try the uh, check the performance still you are facing the problem you can go ahead and turn off the v-sync and check the performance now go to graphics advanced and over here if ray tracing is on you go ahead and disable all the three features over here and you can go ahead and lower down the shadow quality so you can select medium or low and you can go ahead and for soft shadow you can turn it on turn it off and check the performance and you can also disable this ambient and then confirm on the bottom and then check the performance in launcher also you can make some changes uh, for shadow quality you can go ahead and select medium or low and check the performance you can also enable or disable soft shadow and then you can go ahead and disable this ambient feature so you can go ahead and make changes and check which one is working fine for you now the next step is to perform clean boot to perform clean boot go ahead and type in system configuration in windows search box then click on system configuration go to the services tab tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services so put a check over here first then click on disable all i already did it that's why it's grayed out in your case it will be highlighted so put a check over here first then click on disable all then click on apply ok and then you will see the restart option and the restart you can be run and then try to check the performance try to launch the game now the next step is to disable steam cloud save for this go to steam go to settings and then go to cloud and turn this feature off if this is on go ahead and turn it off and then try to launch the game the next step is to do not overclock and close all the overclocking applications so if you have msi afterburner running in the computer go ahead and close msi afterburner now in case if you have revert tuner running in the computer go ahead and close revert tuner so close all the overclocking application also close all the background application so make sure that you close everything make sure only game and the steam is running the rest you go ahead and close everything including the browser now the the next step is to verify the game file for this go to the steam make a right click on the game select properties go to the local files tab then click on verify integrity of game files and after the verification you can go ahead and try to launch the game the next step is to install visual c++ file for this go to microsoft website copy this link the link is provided in the video description now it will take you to the microsoft website here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 so click on both the link that is x86 and x64 you have to go ahead and download both the exe file so click on download click on both the exe file and once the file is downloaded you can go ahead and run the exe file so click on both the exe file 
run both x86 and x64 now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow run both the file click on repair or install whatever you see and let the installation complete do not restart now let both the installation complete and once this is done you can go ahead and click on restart over here and after the system restart you can try to launch the game or you can simply go to the start menu click on the power icon then click on restart and you can go ahead and check now the next step is to update your windows to the latest version for this go to the start menu then click on settings go to update and security and then click on check for update and once the update is installed restart your computer and then try to launch the game now also update your system bios so you can go to your system manufacturer website and then select your model number so and then you can go ahead and download the bios file and then run the bios file install the latest version of bios on your computer now when you are updating your system bios make sure in case of laptop make sure the battery on your computer is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter the charger is connected to your computer and then you can go ahead and update your bios now during the bios update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the bios and once the bios update is complete you can go ahead and try to launch the game now in case if nothing is working you can go ahead and uninstall and reinstall the game for you can for that you can go to steam make a right click on the game select manage then click on uninstall and after the uninstall go ahead and delete the game folder from the game installation folder so after you uninstall it delete the game folder and then after that you can go ahead and restart your computer and then try to reinstall the game now in case if you have any additional hard drive you can go ahead and try to install the game to another hard drive and if you have ssd you can go ahead and try to install it in ssd if game is already installed in ssd you can go ahead and try to install the game on hdd and then try to launch the game so one of the steps should definitely help you to get the game running on your computer so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel